Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising the brand new Manchester Scout added today on January the 14th. <laughs> Now this vehicle was added in the Cayo Perico heist and you could actually already kind of access this vehicle if you've done the Cayo Perico heist then you'll know on the Cayo Perico island you can actually drive this thing around. You can't customize it or own it as a personal vehicle but you can drive it around. So if you're wanting to test out this bike without having to buy it then go to the Cayo Perico island and you will be able to drive this thing around but today we're going to be customizing the thing now it does appear to be based on some kind of older Kawasaki motorcycle and it has loads of awesome customization options so let's just hop straight onto the bike and have a look what we can do so here we are in the workshop now I forgot to mention this thing costs two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars so it's pretty cheap actually not too bad um, I believe it is the cheapest or second cheapest vehicle in this entire update and it is a new motorcycle so if you're looking for a new motorcycle then maybe consider it just for that um, but it does have loads of customization so let's just run through that we'll first go ahead and throw on the armor then on the bodywork options we've got none we've got support bars so it's going to change up these uh, like bar things at the back I'm guessing we can go for dual supports so that's going to have that bar at the back and then also some extra bars around the handlebar area and then we can go for the mark one body paneling which is just going to panel in um, oh it's actually just going to add those little sort of hand protectors on the handlebars and then we've got the mark three paneling which adds some extra kind of bars on the front headlight there um, Personally, I think just the support bar on the back looks pretty nice. I'm going to keep this kind of like a um, off-road, but kind of on-road, off-road build. But I also want to go for like the classic kind of look, because it is kind of a classic motorcycle. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like an 80s-ish motorcycle. Um, not really a huge motorbike fan, so if someone could correct me on that in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. But saying that, I do really like the look of this thing. It looks fantastic. So then in brakes, we've got race brakes, engine. We'll go ahead and throw that on there. Now the stock exhaust is this very low rendered kind of weird looking exhaust down there by the back wheel. We can go for the shotgun exhaust, which is just going to be up there on top. That looks much better in my opinion. We can go for the dual shotgun version which is going to have the exhaust on both sides. Then we got the big bar on just one side there and the big bar on both sides. I think possibly just the... I kind of like the single shotgun but it kind of looks a bit empty on this side. So I think I'm actually going to go for the dual shotguns. That looks pretty nice. On the mudguard, we've got this stock mudguard here. We can go for the beveled mudguard, which is just going to add that indent on there. And then we've got the saddled uh, version of that, which is going to be the beveled mudguard with that kind of little um, pannier pack on the front there. I'm not going to go for those. Don't think they look that good. Um, we can go for a horn, not going to bother. Headlights. The stock headlight is pretty white looking already. Um, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and throw on the white headlights. And we do have some livery options for this thing. Um, so we've got the stock with no livery. We can go for a basic camo. We can go for Zancudo camo. I apologise that these aren't going to show up that well. Um, we've got the 90s 5 modern colour. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I like that. We've got the, whoops, the Arid Theatre. We've got Winter Cabin, Camo, sorry, Urban Warrior, Nature Reserve, Naval Battle, Urban Geometric, Coyote Geometric, Large Geometric, Naval Geometric, Desert Fractical, Urban Fractical, Large Digital, 
medium digital uh, yeah I've not unlocked any of these because they're all research in the bunker but I'm just running through them so you can see that there is quite a lot of liveries for this 21 different options that's not bad to be honest not as many as we could get on the go-kart but um, it's a good number of camos if you've unlocked them in the research and then we've got some respray options so I'm guessing the primary is going to be the sort of matte green that we have already yep so that's going to change all of that now it does change the portion in the middle of the wheel there that you can see which is pretty cool I like that and then the secondary colour is going to be all the bars around the vehicle that you can see just there so I think I'm going to go for the bars kind of like a metal-y colour I think maybe uh, the brushed black steel kind of looks pretty nice and then on the main primary colour option I'm not really sure what I want to go for on this so yeah, I'm actually going to go with this nautical blue. I think that looks really nice. It's kind of a retro, classic looking colour. And that is kind of the build I'm going for. Then we've got some pannier options. So we've got the stock roof. We can go for the chassis rack, which is just going to add that little rack there on the tank, you can see. We've got the chassis saddle, which just adds a little pannier on there. And we can go for a dual saddle bike. That's going to add some more panniers down the side of the tank. And then we can actually go for dual storage boxes. And that also keeps that little rack on there with the mini pannier. Um, not too keen on that. So I'm going to just leave it stock. And then the top box. This is going to be on the back. We've got the support rack. We've got the single storage box. Which is just going to be there on the back. Triple storage box. Which adds one on each side. And then we have the storage box and jerry can so it just replaces that storage box with a jerry can instead um, I actually think the triple storage box looks pretty cool there so I'll go with that we'll upgrade the transmission and the turbo we can actually get turbo on this thing and can we actually change up the wheels on this we can okay um, it does come standard with these like very aggressive off-road looking tyres which I think suit the vehicle quite well so I'll have a look through here if there are any good options but I think honestly I'm probably going to keep the stock wheels just because they have that nice aggressive looking tyre on yeah I think that looks best um, that also means we can't change up the colour of the wheel which is kind of a shame um, but we can go ahead and add some bulletproof tyres and tyre smoke if you want to but I'm not going to do that and that is the thing fully customised now you can never really change too much with a motorcycle because it's a motorcycle it doesn't really have that much to it but for a motorcycle in customization terms this one has quite a lot of things that you can change and you can build some very different styles with this so you can go for a very off-road theme you can go for an on-road theme you can really make it very personal so I like that part of it and it is also a classic motorcycle so that's always really nice to see well let's take it outside and see how she drives okay so here we are outside for the first time on our Manchester Scout and it basically sounds like any other motorbike in the game I have to say um, doesn't really sound too different but one thing I have noticed from driving this thing around is it pulls amazing wheelies so if you're trying to complete the wheelie challenge the longest wheelie challenge in uh, the free mode sort of events then maybe consider Manchester Scout as the vehicle of choice because this thing pulls fantastic wheelies you can see here even in its stock form as I was driving it over to customize the thing it pulls pretty big wheelies in its stock form so um, if you don't have the money to upgrade the thing then just know wheelies are a big plus side on this vehicle but it looks really nice actually when I'm whizzing around here on the streets it does look different it's something nice and new to the game and this thing can also be stored in your clubhouse garage if you have the bike storage in your clubhouse so that's really nice as well and 
yeah what is my overall opinion on the bike i'm not a huge bike person to be honest but i did go ahead and purchase this thing and i am going to keep this thing because i do really like how it looks and it is pretty quick as well you can see i'm nipping around here on the streets it's not the fastest motorcycle but you know if you're in a chase situation or you're just trying to complete a mission quickly it is a pretty nippy little bike so yeah I'll give this thing a big thumbs up it's pretty cheap as well so you can't really complain that it's too expensive and I would recommend it that's gonna do it for this video though I hope you did find it useful if you did I'd appreciate you smashing the like button and we are also trying to reach a thousand subscribers here on the channel so if you want to support us with that then please consider subscribing to the channel and with that said and that done, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.